Gorilla Tag is not fun anymore. Many people, as well as myself, have been finding themselves distancing from this popular Oculus Quest title due to boredom and overall just a lack of enjoyment. Yet, why are people feeling this way about what used to be a very entertaining game, and what's changed about it? First of all, I find the lack of updates and changing gameplay making the game get really boring really quickly. This is also why I found myself enjoying Population 1 less and less. It's always the same game constantly, and without many updates, there is hardly any incentive for the player to return to the game. When there are updates, I find them to usually be just for the sake of putting out an update. To elaborate, some updates seem pointless. The music update, the slide update, the cosmetic update. While some of them are nice to have in the background like the music and the cosmetics, it's not enough to stand as its own update, and most updates nowadays are just lacklustre. And in my opinion, updates like the slides have no place in a game of tag while playing as gorillas and were just put in because there were no ideas left and they had to update as a sort of futile attempt of keeping the game alive. The player base is the worst part of the game, yet it is on most, for some reason particularly on VR. I find the servers to be infested with little children who are toxic and annoying, and I'm amazed that parents allow them within even 50 feet of the radius of any sort of modern technology. However, the skill gap is also quite frustrating. While this is no one's fault, it's out of developer control, and you can't really get mad at people for being good, but as a casual player myself, whenever I join a server, I cannot last very long without being almost immediately tagged, so then I go to tag other players, but they travel at light speed and up walls like little flies, and since I'm not a member of FaZe Clan, I can't really follow them up. What's changed from before? Gorilla Tag used to be simpler, with all new players, and where the complex strategy would be pinch climbing. There were updates every so often, bringing new maps and quality of life updates, and as time went on it was still a fun game and its player base expanded, which used to be a good thing. Less children would play, and as a result there was less toxicity, and you'd also be able to find games easier filled up with more people. But this game's popularity was skyrocketing, way more than your average VR game. And the first Christmas after its release brought new updates, players, and more children. But it was still far enough under the mainstream radar. Yet about half a year after, it all changed. We saw the player base become 80% child, and many kids who aren't even old enough to be allowed to own a quest were getting VR headsets just to play the game that they saw a funny blue head energy drink man be a monkey on YouTube. And the following Christmas, everything I talked about the whole video was in full effect. But hey, if you like Gorilla Tag, good for you. Everyone likes to play different things. And if you are a child on any VR game, Please just tone down the annoyance. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. Alright, bye. I'm going to go nag my parents to get me a Quest 3 to play Monkey Touch.